Shalom. Um, I want to talk to you guys about something that's been on my heart for the past few days. Um, <clears throat> Pastor Patrick had sent me a link uh, to the videos of those Christians who were killed. You know, the Lord had told me that uh, ISIS will be destroyed. And I made a video about that. And Obama doesn't use the name of Isis because it's the name of the mother of the Illuminati God he worships and serves. The Vatican also serves this God too. He is Osiris and his son Horus, the Egyptian sun god. They worship the fallen angels as do the worshipers of Islam. You see, the, the book of Islam, the Quran, says that Satan, I mean that Allah, is the greatest of the deceivers it says in there to offer Christians uh, what Isis is doing there uh, it says they they can offer the blood of Christians as a sacrificial offering and their lives as a sacrificial offering to Allah there is no deity that wants the death of somebody else to other human beings as a sacrifice as a gift to him <laughs> you know there was animal sacrifice and they do animal sacrifice and then they also are killing these Christians and offering them up and there's I can show you there's all kinds of documentation from the early years of that religion uh, about who offered up what and they they also said in there to cut their fingers off of them joint by joint and then Cut, kill them by cutting their necks not all the way through and let them suffer and there's some people that were eyewitnesses to these things taking place in the past it's happening now the, uh, I watched the w the video that Patrick sent me and it shows the actual beheading of all 21 of those men they they make them lay down and then they stick their fingers in their eye sockets and pull their heads back and saw through their necks and then they put their heads on their backs, each one of them, as their hands were bound behind them. And these men, you see, we as Christians are going through nothing compared to what these people are going through. This is what the Lord was impressing on my heart. They, these men are standing there silently praying to God. Some of them are moving their lips a little bit, but they're praying to Christ. These were Christian men. Now they have 150 more Christians. They've they've literally sacrificed to Allah thousands of Christians. They have a, a a video that they snuck out of there of a butcher shop where they cut these people's heads off and then slaughtered them like cattle, dismembered them and then eviscerated them and then cut them up into like steaks or something. It's terrible. It's not faked either. You know, people want to say, oh, this is faked uh, for the U.S. to get this or that. You know, Dabu77, he'll say that. The guy's a nut. He's just a regurgitator of trash. And he's an Israelite hater. He's a Jew hater. Stay away from his station. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about was Hebrews. You see, Hebrews 12, verse 4 and 9. Um, in verse 4 it says you have not resisted to the point of shedding your blood striving against sin and have you forgotten the exhortation which is addressed to you as sons my son do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord nor faint when you are reproved by him for those whom the Lord loves he disciplines and he scourges every son whom he receives. Verse 7, it is for discipline that you endure. God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? But if you are without discipline, of which all of you become partakers, then you are Ill illegitimate children and not sons. Furthermore, we had earthly fathers to discipline us, and we respected them. Shall we not much rather be subject to the Father of spirits and live? You see, a lot of us are going through <clears throat> trials and tests, and 
You know, there are people in Middle Eastern countries right now that are resisting to blood. They are, there's one man, they have a videotape of him singing a, a, a song, a hymn, as they're, you know, cutting his head off. And, uh, you know, we think about our lives and what little trials we go through, you know, oh, some, a little bit of physical pain or these things, you know, loss of a job or home or vehicle or whatever. But I want to remind you to pray for those Christians that are in the Middle East who are being tortured to death, that are being dismembered and horribly destroyed. In the Bible it tells about Paul and then we're talking about people that were cut in half for their faith. You know, trying to make these people reject Christ. That's what their goal is. You see, and then this angel of light, the light bearer, the ultimate deceiver who is the God of those who believe in that religion. That guy wants those sacrifices of those Christians because he hates everyone, but he especially hates the Christians. His days are numbered. We know that this thing's about to wrap up. Israel is about to attack Iran. That is the reason, I think, for Netanyahu's visit to the United States and the address of the Congress and the United States people is in hopes that they will understand when he has to act because Iran has uh, the capability now to build a nuclear bomb. They may already have them. They know that in 2009, I believe it was John Ashcroft, who worked for... Barack Hussein Obama tried to to uh, cover up or to um, mediate these things that they found that they had detonated some neutron triggers. The only reason that you need a neutron trigger is to excite fission in a nuclear weapon. There was three detonations that were cataloged that they know of. Three times neutron triggers were fired over there with explosives it leaves traces that you can't get rid of and then they just found out that there's a new factory in in Iran that has one foot thick lead lined doors and there are uh, they're building weapons grade plutonium in there that's what they're doing their ultimate goal is to attack Israel and the United States this is going to trigger the Ezekiel War, and then uh, there's going to be a limited thermonuclear war, I believe, and the United States will be a third world country after this takes place, and then the UN will take over, and Russia will be knocked down in size uh, because they'll attack Israel, and, it, and there'll be a re uh, nuclear response against all these countries, China, Russia, all that, and then you'll have this one world nation come together, and they will forge a peace deal and build a temple. That'll be part of the thing. And there'll be all this goody two shoes stuff happening for the first three and a half years. And then it's going to get really ugly and the great tribulation will start. And then Christ will return after those three and a half years. The next three and a half. So that'll make seven. Unless he shortens the days. And then there'll be a thousand years of peace on the earth. And then Satan will be locked up for that thousand years. And then he'll be released to tempt those who were born during that time because the earth will be repopulated and they will again turn against God even though Christ is right here that proves to you that you will that people will not love the Lord and serve him unless they're uh, written in the book I guess you know there is something wrong whenever they'll God's kingdom will be here on earth and Christ himself will be here and they can see him but yet they will turn against him the word of God tells us when Satan is let out because the heart of man is wicked and God is demonstrating that over and over again even with the God Almighty here on earth for 1,000 years, 1,000 years of peace they turn on him. You see? And then Armageddon happens. So uh, be looking forward to something happening here very soon because uh, Netanyahu is going to be leaving office and I believe there's a prophecy that said that under his watch his third term he would reign he would be in the office three terms and then the Messiah would return he would preside over Israel during the roughest times in history Israel's history that 
the time of Jacob's trouble is coming. So, be of good cheer. I know I'm kind of down. Uh, I'm having some trouble right now, and I need you guys to pray for me. Uh, but like I said, every son, he scourges all of us. He loves you. He did it to Paul, He all of them. It's for a reason. It's for our faith. You know, it's for the glory of God, not not necessarily for us because we're saved by grace but it's for the glory of God some way that these things happen so be in prayer for me and be in prayer for these these Christians and these people even there's Muslims many 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 probably 10 times or 20 times as many Muslims are being killed people that believe in Islam are being killed as the Christians are being killed more, much more of them. You see, there's the two sides, the Sh the Shia and the Sunni. One side believes that that the the leadership of Islam should be uh, delegated by bloodline. In other words, the Prophet Muhammad and his relatives, blood relatives, are the ones to be the next ones in line. The other ones don't. And then you have the hardliners in there that take the Quran literally, where it says to kill. All of those who do not believe or will not convert, and then it, and then they what they do is they kill each other, because the hardliners say you're not a true believer in the Quran if you don't uh, do these things, this jihad against people and kill them. So if you don't answer the questions right, they just they kill you. They take you out and make you repent of your sins, and then they kill you and send you to heaven. It's kind of, kind of like that movie with Vin Diesel in it, where the guy had the under verse. And he was killing all these people. Oh, they're not really dead. They're just going to the underverse. And he was going to be the lord of the underverse. See, God keeps showing this stuff over and over again. That's what this is. This wicked, wicked thing that is happening to the earth is corrupting it with billions of people believing in this stuff. You know, and this, this thing where you have a religion where you murder people if they won't convert. Why isn't there an outcry? Why is all the what's the kid gloves on or kid gloves on all this for, huh? You know what kid gloves are? That's they're made out of like a lamb skin and you can't scratch whatever you're touching with these. That's why is everybody handling it like that? Why don't they come out and say, This is what it says in there? Because it absolutely says these things. To kill those that don't believe, to hunt down every Jew and kill them. That there's certain trees that the Jew can hide behind, and so the Arabs cut down these people that believe in Islam, cut down all those trees. Because the Quran says a Jew could hide behind it and you can't see it if you're a believer in Islam. So they cut down all those trees. Get, go online and look. You guys can see. I'm telling you the absolute truth. It says to cut the digits off of their fingers. And then to cut their heads off. And to offer their blood. And that's what they showed at the end of that. Those 21 people when they killed them. The beach was just soaked with blood from these men. And all they were was Christians. That was their crime. You know, some women are being tortured and killed because their crime was they were talking on a cell phone over there. You know, and now they have 150 more people to torture. They probably have thousands of them. Those men may already be dead. They believe that they're going to cause the end of the world and bring their 12th imam down. And, and that will all come together. And then they'll, they're going to kill all of us that don't believe. And then they'll kill all of the, the other ones that don't believe the hardline way. You see? And if you question Islam, then they kill you for questioning it. If you ask, well, if you even suppose that maybe there may be another religion, they have to kill you. So pray for these people because they're lost. Christ died for them, too. The Lord Jesus shed his blood on Calvary and died for them. And that's, that's absolute proof. We know this through records that Christ died, and he died for them. And he was... 675 years before Islam was ever created. The God of the Bible. You see, even the Jews do that. They placate this stuff because there's so many of those people and they want to, oh, let's, let's treat them with kid, glo kid gloves. You know, don't, don't scratch it, don't hurt it. Even though this thing is something that, why don't they take those verses out of the Quran, destroy those verses, renounce them. Why don't all these guys that are running this thing renounce all that stuff? Say it's not true. Why? Because if they do, then the hardliners will kill them. They'll just kill them for it. They'll make them repent, and then they'll shoot them in the back of the head or whatever. 
and they're training little kids to do these things so you know I saw a 10 year old shoot two Russian guys in the back of the head in the name of Islam because they were spies it says to kill them in the Quran the Bible doesn't say any of that the Torah doesn't say any of that to kill anybody on those lines there were certain people that were killed but they had the seed of Satan in them because the Bible tells us the angels came down and they had sex with the women and there was a seed of Satan in the earth and it was trying to get into the Hebrew blood bloodline to stop the Savior from coming and being pure and be able to die as a sacrifice for your sins that was the only reason People could join themselves to the Jews. They could repent and stop. There's many, many, many cases of that. There's no cases in Islam of anybody being uh, let live. They've destroyed 42 churches over there in Syria. They've killed, they've destroyed 100 and some mosques. They've destroyed all these artifacts, just smashing everything to pieces. You see? Anyway, I want to pray for you guys. Dear Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your son Yeshua we come before your throne we ask that you touch each and every one that you'd open their eyes to the truth of this God that your Holy Spirit would indwell them God that, that they if they don't have the Holy Spirit that they would be driven to seek the Holy Spirit and the infilling of that with a gift of tongues we ask that they would repent of their sins and be baptized in the name of Christ we ask that you'd undertake for these brothers and sisters of ours that are in the rest of the world that are being persecuted that are going to die today that are being tortured these women are being raped and hurt God Almighty help them in the mighty name of Jesus send love and send the Holy Spirit to their husbands and their families undertake for these people Father